Hello again, fellow aquascapers. Today, I'm excited to show you how I'll be planting the hardscape mountain I created. I used lava rocks as the base and attached small pieces of driftwood to give it a more natural, rugged look. For this setup, I'll be using weeping moss and sand to complete the scape. First, I've laid down a layer of sand, and the key here is not to use too much. By keeping the sand layer thin, the mountain appears larger and more dramatic. I then use a spatula to smooth out the sand before adding smaller lava rocks to complement the larger ones in the design. Next, I'll start planting. I'll be using glue to attach the moss to the lava rocks. You want to avoid using too much glue, just enough to secure the moss while allowing the natural color and texture of the rocks to show through. As you can see, the weeping moss I'm using is compact, making it easy to attach to the lava rocks. Be sure to place the moss strategically to enhance the overall scape and create a balanced look. Moss is often used in hardscape and bonsai aquascapes because of how naturally it grows and drapes down. While placing the moss, take inspiration from fellow aquascapers and their designs. It's a great way to improve your planting skills and make new connections within the aquascaping community. As always, I spray the plants frequently while planting to keep them from drying out. I continue arranging the weeping moss, ensuring each one is placed in the best spot to create a balanced, natural look. I've also added a small bonsai to the layout, which will become more visible after I trim the moss later on. After that, I finish the hardscape by placing moss in any remaining bare spots, making sure it blends into the design without covering the small driftwood pieces. As you can see, the moss planting is almost done. Planting is one of my favorite parts of aquascaping, and I'm always excited to share it with you. If you're interested in creating a scape like this or need more information about aquatic plants, feel free to message us on our Facebook page. Finally, I give everything one last spray to keep the plants hydrated, and that's it, the hardscape is complete. Stay tuned for the final video with music, and don't forget to follow our page for more updates. Thanks for watching, aquascapers. Don't forget to follow our page.